Xpeng X2 Flying Car Review For far too long, humans have dreamed about owning some cool cars like the one in the Jetsons, or perhaps Total Recall. But the years have passed and the idea of flying to the next mall still seems far-fetched. However, there are several dystopian places around the world, like Shenzhen, Seoul, and Dubai, where everything else has to spell innovation and ridiculous tech is a daily necessity. Understandably, China plans to launch flying taxis by 2025, but Dubai is ahead of the curve thanks to the Chinese company Xpeng and the X2, which is already testing its eVTOL, or electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicles in the UAE. For gearheads who love flying or sci-fi, here's what we know about these pilotless futuristic flying objects that make us feel like we're in a movie. China-based Xpeng Aero HT conducted the first public test flights of its electric flying car on October 11 at Skydive Dubai in front of 150 viewers, against the backdrop of panoramic views of the cityscape and excellent airspace conditions. The 90-second flight saw the car demonstrate electric vertical takeoff and landing EV toll capabilities. While a commercial-ready car is likely still years away from hitting the showroom, the company behind it has demonstrated all the necessary details that the idea is certainly close to becoming a reality. Design and Features The Xpeng X2 is a fifth-generation flying car, according to Xpeng Aero HT, and is developed and manufactured independently by the Chinese company. It is a two-seater that adopts a minimalistic teardrop-shaped design, giving it a very futuristic appearance that looks straight out of a sci-fi movie. Aerodynamics have been taken into consideration here to achieve the ultimate in-flight performance, along with weight reduction and an all-carbon fiber body has been used. Being an all-electric car, it does not produce any carbon emissions and contributes to the global efforts to do away with ICE or internal combustion engine vehicles in favor of greener urban transportation. Xpeng says that the X2 is most suitable for low-altitude city flights and short-distance city journeys such as sightseeing and medical transportation. But perhaps the most exciting feature of these cars is its ability to fly autonomously where passengers can perform super-safe start, return, and landing operations at the touch of a button. There's also a manual mode for the more adventurous ones out there. Pricing and Availability there's no word on the pricing and availability of the car right now, which is understandable given its early stages of development. However, at the company's 1024 Tech Day last fall, we learned that its sixth-generation flying car will arrive sometime in 2024 and could cost below $156,600. This newer-gen model will be able to drive on the road as well. While that priding can be used to arrive at a price estimate for the Xpeng X2 as well, the 2024 ability date sounds way too optimistic, especially given the many obstacles that'll need to be overcome before any vehicle of its kind is allowed to take to the skies. Regulatory Barriers A serious amount of reliability and safety testing is required before any aircraft that includes flying cars, is given an airworthiness certificate and eventually cleared for mass manufacturing. A report by a protocol reads that the only vertical takeoff and landing VTOL-specific standards in the world have been proposed in Europe. Meanwhile, in China, no such certificate has been given to any eVTOL companies. In fact, the certificate is yet to have a provision for eVTOL technologies, which means companies working on such tech can even apply if they want to. All this in turn means that it'll take years, even decades, before we start seeing the first flying cars in our daily routine. This is why Xpeng Inc. has selected Dubai. This is hardly a secret, but the flashy UAE city ranks among top global hubs for talent and innovation, according to the Boston Consulting Group. The management firm points out that Dubai has successfully attracted leading technology companies with an aggressive corporate tax rate incentive capped at zero. Furthermore, the region has seduced top global talent through several clearly targeted initiatives and projects. 
To address ongoing inflationary pressures, the UAE now offers select startups office space with two years of free rent, providing health insurance for employees all the while making it easier for incoming talent to attain work visas, says the Boston Consulting Group. Among other initiatives, it established incubators such as Dubai's Area 2071 and recruited venture capital firms from around the world to establish local offices as a testament to Dubai's commitment to act as a sustainable global center of excellence. In this context, Dubai is set to remain, even in the future, a global talent magnet that attracts the most innovative companies. Meanwhile, Xpeng Aero HD explained in a press release why Dubai was the city of choice for the innovative company. Xpeng X2's public display in Dubai represents a significant milestone for Xpeng Aero HD and the international achievements of flying cars. Dubai is a world-renowned city of innovation, which is the reason we decided to hold the X2 first public flight event here. Today's flight is a major step in Xpeng's exploration of future mobility, said Brian Gu, vice chairman and president of Xpeng. This is what you should know about the flying car, Xpeng X2, an electric flying taxi developed by Xpeng. The Xpeng X2 is one of dozens of flying car projects around the world. Only a handful have been successfully tested with passengers on board, and it will likely be many years before any are put into service, says ABC7 News. After acquiring a special flying permit from the Dubai Civil Aviation Authority, or DCAA, the Chinese company demonstrated the abilities of the flying car with an empty cockpit, but the company claims it conducted a manned flight test in July 2021. The fully autonomous flying vehicle can reach the top speed of 80 miles per hour, or 130 kilometers per hour, and comes equipped with a set of eight propellers. Additionally, it has an aerodynamic water drop design, and Xpeng Aero HT built it using lightweight carbon fiber. Green Crusaders and Eco Warriors will love the Xpeng X2 because it produces zero carbon dioxide emissions during flight. Meanwhile, clients that dislike chatty Uber or Lyft drivers will appreciate that the flying taxis offer both manual and autonomous flying choices. This means that if a passenger doesn't like to converse with their driver, they can choose to fly alone. The first global public flight of the X2 flying car will change the game of the future of mobility. The flying car is the epitome of ambition, innovation, and future-oriented vision that has always inspired Dubai and its leadership. Today, we witnessed a historic moment that will define the next 50 years, says Dubai International Chamber of Commerce acting president and CEO Hassan Al Hashemi. Thank you for watching, and please hit the like button, subscribe to AC Technology channel, and enable post alerts to view more of our future videos. After saying that, keep watching our videos, and I'll speak with you in the next one.